Hello, this is uh, the second part of my video about um, key signatures and the circle of fifths. Uh, watch the first part if you haven't already. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the Facebook page, both in the box down below. Um, so the circle of fifths, as I've said, tells you the key signatures for major keys. Um, it tells you if you made a major scale of this note, uh, you would hit these sharps or these flats. It also tells you the same thing but for minor keys um, because of a phenomenon known as related minors. So, um, if we um, have a C major scale, it says here on our circle of fifths that the related minor key for C major is A minor. So if we play an A natural minor scale, um, we will have the same notes in it as we're in our C major scale. Um, I'll demonstrate that for you. Here's a C major scale. So I hit C, A, B, C, uh, sorry, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, like that. And if I hit those same notes but starting and finishing on A instead, I go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. You can hear I played um, an A natural minor scale. So we call A minor and C major related because they both are made out of the same notes. The way you uh, differentiate an A minor song from a C major song is just that it will most likely finish on an A note and it will have a lot more A in it and less C. <laughs> um, that's the simplest way of telling anyway. Um, so. G major is related to E minor, D major is related to B minor, so on. You can uh, look at a circle of fifths and memorise which ones are related. If you need to work out which ones are related quickly, um, you can do so by counting forward or backwards three semitones. So if you've got a minor key and you want to know what its key signature is, just off the top of your head, let's say uh, B minor, for example, you would start on B. Here it is. Um, and you'd go forward three semitones. So one, two, three. So you can see there I've gone from B to D. So D major is related to B minor. And this also works the other way around. So if you're thinking of uh, a major key and you want to work out what its minor key that's uh, got the same signature is, uh, let's pick A. Uh, you just go back three semitones. So you go one, two, you can see there uh, A major is related to F sharp minor. What this is useful for is um, that you only have to learn the key signatures for the major keys because uh, then you can just work out the minor keys from their related majors. So as so long as you memorise the major key signatures, the minor ones are kind of done for you because you just count back three semitones to find the minor key that's related to each of the major keys, and you can remember them together um, like that. You'll also find um, later on in this series I'm going to talk about which chords go together and why, and you'll find that related majors become increasingly useful for the guitarist, um, so you'll probably find that you'll gradually start to remember them together anyway. Um, so don't worry too much about memorising minor keys for now, as long as you remember the major ones, I promise the minor ones will uh, sink in in conjunction with those over over time when you start using them for something practical anyway. So uh, that's about it for the circle of fifths. Um, I hope this makes sense to you. Have a look in the link down below. There's a, there's a link to this lovely coloured in circle of fifths which I got off somebody else's website which is really good. Um, have a look at that. Um, thanks to them for making this lovely circle of fifths which has been really useful. Um, and um, yeah. I hope this all makes sense to you. Drop me a comment in the box below if you want to know anything, if you've got any questions. Um, and in the next video I'm going to be starting to talk about what a guitarist uses this knowledge for and how it will help you work out songs you don't know really quickly and easily. So uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. If you're in the Sheffield area, come and get a guitar lesson, the first one's free. Um, and um, I also do lessons via Skype. So if you'd like to learn via the internet from the comfort of your armchair, you can do that as well. Just um, either drop me a message, email me, uh, the email address is info at finaleguitar.co.uk, 
or you can uh, visit my website in the link below there's a contact page on there um, and you can like the Facebook page uh, that's very helpful you can leave a comment on there or you can message me on there as well so uh, I'm easy to contact do do so uh, thanks very much for watching I'll see you in the next video bye